Okay, hi everybody and welcome to another UFE tutorial. In this case, uh, we're gonna center around the very, very basic animations or character needs to work uh, properly in UFE. Some people are asking about them, so I think it would be it would be very useful to make a tutorial about this uh, basic required animation, so you don't get confused and don't know exactly what you need. So in this case, I'm gonna take my character for example and I'm gonna uh, guide you through the basic animations that you're gonna need to make your character in UFE. Round 1. Fight! Alright, so as you know, here we have our character uh, file or character asset file where we can put its name, age and a lot of other data and we, when we make a moveset like this, she only has one stance it's gonna ask us for the basic moves and the attack and special moves all these attacks and special moves, well, we cover them to certain length in other tutorials but now we're gonna check this, the basic moves the required moves, the basic required moves are marked with this, but some other moves uh, I highly recommend you add to your character even though are not uh, absolutely required. For example, let's go, the basic uh, animation, well the first group is standard animations, okay, and these are the bare basics, I mean it idle, which is the character when it's doing nothing, the, move, the moving forward, the moving backwards, and uh, the crouching, alright, there's no science in there, it's pretty obvious. Now in jump animations it asks us only for a, uh, for a uh, required animation that jump straight, basically it's this, no? But uh, I highly recommend you add these two that is the takeoff animation. What is this? It's an animation that the character plays when it's going to jump. In this in this case, here I have a blender. This is where I make my characters, and in this case, this is my takeoff animation. It basically my character going from her stand pose to her crouch pose. Basically, she's building strength in her legs to uh, jump. All right, so that's her takeoff animation and in this case the only required uh, jump animation is the jump straight that is jump in position if you don't define a jump back or jump forward you basically use jump neutral for animations in my particular case I make three different animations although they are very similar in effect now fall animations these aren't the Fall animation when your character is thrown to the ground basically is uh, falling from the jump. And as you can see, there's only one required animation that in this case is falling from the straight jump. So I'm gonna put pause on in a bit. So this is my jump string animation, and this is my fall string animation. Basically, for example, here we have her jump uh, jump straight. I call it jump neutral but it also asks us for an animation when she is going back to the ground. In this case, I have here. I have it right here. And basically, so she in this position just waiting to meet the ground. It's very, very basic, all right? You can say that one animation is when her arms are down because she's going up. And the other animation is when her arms are up because she's going down. So that's basically it. You can also add a folly animation for her jump back, for her jump forward, but basically I only use one animation because it suits every case pretty pretty good. I don't think it's really required to have uh, more animation than this and remember we're focusing on required animations but just uh, with a bit of recommended animations for example landing animation is not required 
but I highly recommend you add it. It's basically an animation that plays when... Sorry. When your character touches the ground. In this case, I use the very same animation from the takeoff and when she's in stand position and goes to crouch because when she touches the ground, her weight makes her crunch for a fraction of a second. You see? It's the very same animation from takeoff, which I use in landing. Now, the blocking animations, as you can see, none is required. But basically all of them are very necessary. Alright, for example, here we are in block animation. For example, a standard a standing pose is this. My character is not making contact with my opponent, but our block area is so basically she is uh, making her block pose animation, all right? She is preparing for the hit. If the hit is the if the move connects as you can see she opens her umbrella. That's the standing high hit animation. One is just uh, the feint when she is about to block and the other is the animation when the attack actually hits and she blocks it. I for example don't use the standing uh, low hit, I only use standing pose and standing high hit uh, and crouching pose and crunching hit. It's basically the same principle. You see? The blockable area makes her go into the pose But if the move connects, she opens her umbrella, so that's the two kind of animations. If your game supports air pose and air hit, it's basically the same. Alright, now let's go to hit reactions. And, for example, here we have uh, only two required animations, standing hit high and crouching hit. For example, this is a standing hit high. <laughs> because I hit her in any of her uh, hitboxes that are marked as height. If I hit her when she's crunching, this is the crunching hit animation. These are, are the only required animations for uh, getting hit. But I recommend, for example, in this case, I recommend standing low Air juggle, not back, not back, sweep, and crumple. Standing low is an animation that plays when any of your lower hitboxes is hit. For example, here I see her in uh, in her legs. It's a it's a bit different. She leans forward, so I recommend the standing low hit because it adds some variety to the animations. All right. Now, air juggle, as you can see here, it says launcher. Basically, this is the animation that will that will play if the opponent is hit while in the in the air, or if you have an um, animation that launches your opponent. I have a very simple example here. And this is the animation. It's Basically, my character leaning a little back and it goes for 30 frames, pretty basic. Now, I also recommend knockback. What's knockback? Basically, a, a strong attack that launches our opponent uh, far away. For example, in this kick. So this is the knockback animation. I have it here in Blender. So basically our opponent is being thrown. 
that's basically the animation of the knockback. He's being pushed far away by a strong attack. And the next two uh, hit reactions are Swift, that basically is this. You knock your opponent off their feet. And the animation is pretty self-explanatory. I have it here. Basically, she gets hit in her feet and goes down. Do her uh, knocked out animation. That's basically this. Her laying in the ground. All right. And last in this hit reaction animation, crumple. I don't have. I don't have her. Uh, I don't. She doesn't have a, a a move that calls the crumple animation right now. But this is a crumple animation. Basically, it's like in Street Fighter 4 when you uh, connect with a fox attack. Your opponent slowly falls into the ground because the 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 hit was really really strong. So this is. This is a crumple animation. Again, it's not required, but I recommend it because it can add interesting variety to, to your game. Now, stage reaction animations are basically the bounce on the ground or the bounce on the walls. I highly recommend the ground bounce and the air wild bounce what is this for example the what the 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 ground bounce the ground bounce is this i hit her with enough uh, force in the air so she goes to the ground and bounces and the animation is pretty simple it's basically this she's kind of covering the ground but then she goes a little bit up because she's bouncing in the ground. The wall bounce is new to UFE 1.71.1 and basically it allows your character to do wall bounces. It can be really really fun. In my case this is the wall bounce. I have my wall bounce animation right here and basically is this as you can see it's basically the bounce animation but a little bit rotated it's not against the the floor but the wall and then she goes down and it works pretty well now let's go to fall down reactions these are when our character is going to the ground because it's been uh, heavily hit and as you can see it only requires us one animation called default some people get uh, a bit confused with this default animation but let me explain to you it's quite easy this def default fall animation is basically this your character is hitting the ground and then lying down on the floor all right. Similar to the sweep animation, when you knock your character, your opponent off, off its feet, and it goes down. In this case, it's basically the same. It hits the ground and then lies on the ground. For this default animation, well, reactions default is this. Basically, it's this animation. And in this case, I only recommend to use another animation that is ground ba uh, falling from the ground bounce. As you remember, this is our ground bounce. So it hits the ground, bounces, and then it goes to the ground again. Don't worry, you can use basically the same animation I have, I have here or my bounce animation. And my bound fall animation is the same animation backwards. 
but it but it adds a a lot of strength to the ground bounce. It look I think it make it it make it look really really good. And it's the same animation but backwards. And in on stand up animations, the only required animation is a default stand up animation. You can make a different animation from for any kind of fall, but as you can see, we don't use that much, or are, at least are not required. So we only use one animation to get up. I'm a little uh, lazy making this get up animation, so I basically use only one animation that is this, that is my character crouching and getting up. It, this is what I use for. for my stand up animations, and it kind of works fine. Alright, so that's the basic, 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 basic look you're gonna need to make uh, your character work. As you can see, some are required. I add my recommended ones. And another important thing uh, I recommend you check is, is this little thing, Override Blending In. As you can see, as you know, uh, UFE and Unity can blend the animation together. together. So they can blend the end of one animation with the start of the next animation. But it can, as these animations are very short, some of them only last for half a second or less, uh, sometimes when, when blending the animation they get lost in the process and it makes them lack strength. So I check override blending and leave it in zero. So the animation don't blend in, they go straight from one animation to the next and it can add some sense of strength to the animation in general, alright? So I guess uh, this is useful, you can return this to this tutorial as a reference and those are the very basic moves you're gonna need in UFE to set up your character. So good luck and I'll see you in the next tutorial.